much for tuning in, Apple Bites. Um, I actually had a quirky intro that I wanted to do. It is actually going to be me wearing a Darth Vader mask that I don't have, breathing heavily close to the camera because of how sick I am and I actually can't breathe very well. I could do the creepy breathing and I was going to be like, <gasps> I am your YouTuber. And then that was going to be the intro. Hey guys, um, I hope I, I welcome to my weirdness. You're already used to it. Don't act like it's not new. Um, mm, that made sense. So, uh, I was gonna give you a quick update because the last time I actually did this episode, I was actually pretty sick. Um, and I wasn't really able to do exactly what I wanted to do. And I seemed like I wasn't really excited about those unboxings that I did, but I really was. But I have a really, really, really good excuse. Here's the thing. Get this, I couldn't breathe. Um, so, uh, I actually was having a respiratory issue and I really was struggling um, just to breathe in general. So like those little coughs was actually my body going, air, <gasps> air. It was like I was underneath the sea for a long time after making out with Elsa and I couldn't breathe after that. Like she just froze everything. And it was like, yeah, voice box, pfft, gone. Um, so, uh, what ended up happening is that I did go to the doctor. Um, and they gave me some medication, um, but it was a very interesting experience for me, not because of um, this big deal about me going to the doctor, but for the fact that for the first time in my life, I'm actually coming across doctors who do respect my opinion, um, which is a big deal for me because I'm just, I'm just so distrustful, but it's because I'm a New Yorker, what can I say? So uh, the thing is that I did go to the doctor, I told them exactly what the issues what I was having, and they listened to what I was saying, and they actually gave me the proper uh, medication after hooking me up to a machine um, with this like huge tube in my mouth, that's what she said, and don't you dare say it. Um, <laughs> um, so I could breathe, um, which opened up the pathways, which was fantastic, because I was like singing like a bird um, afterwards, and I probably scared them, um, because I know in my records that they probably have like patients as well knowledgeable, knows her body very well, and actually understands everything. Uh, I'm just too smart for my own good, um, which gets me in trouble. So. Um, they, you know, everything was pretty much after that was pretty good because when I first came in I could barely talk. I sounded like one of those old feeble characters from Disney and it's like, I'm struggling to speak. I don't know why my struggling turned foreign. I don't know what happened. But, <laughs> uh, but basically, uh, I couldn't talk to them in the beginning and then as soon as I was finished, um, and they took me off of the machine and said, I was like, whoa, hey there, fellas how you doing? They were like, holy crap, she talks. And I was like, yeah, if you pull the string, <laughs> I have come with catchphrases. Um, but um, I started making jokes with the rest of the staff. I had the staff laughing, even if they were obligated to do it because I'm a patient. That's not the point. The point is that they were chuckling at my jokes, like you guys are, right? Um, but, um, but yeah, so I finally got my medicine, which was interesting because I was actually trying to avoid being in the cold, uh, considering right now New York is very cold, and I was trying to catch an Uber everywhere. I was just like, Uber to train station, Uber to this, Uber to that, Uber to the drugstore. Like, I was trying to avoid being outside, and it was, um, I ended up getting into this uh, Uber car um, who took forever, which was, here's, let me explain the Uber story. <clears throat> <laughs> uh, my first Uber ride um, got pulled over by the cops before he could get to me and I was like, and he texts me, hold on, getting a ticket and I'm like, that doesn't make me feel safe, okay? I just don't think these are things you want to tell your client before you pick them up in your car with your new ticket. Um, <laughs> <coughs> and so um, the Uber car after that um, cause these are all like $8 rides just going somewhere. I'm like, cause I just can't be outside. Cause every time I was outside, it just made everything worse. So my next ride, here's the thing. I was trying to explain to him, I'm having trouble breathing and which is making it difficult for me to talk because you need air to speak. Um, so I'm standing by the door of his, like, of his huge main entrance and I'm like, I'm right here. And he goes, oh yeah, no, that street's closed. What? Oh yeah, no, it's closed. It's it's not closed. Is that you right there? Because I see an Uber pulling up. No, it's that's not. It's not you. Okay. Um, so what do you mean? And he's actually trying to convince me that the street is closed, where there are public buses, Uber cars, other cars, and cop cars just going straight through. It was like telling me 42nd was closed, and I was like, sir, I I can see the street from here. It's not closed. 
I'm just not feeling well and I really shouldn't be outside, particularly for today because my medicine hasn't kicked in yet. Um, and then he gets mad with me. He goes, well, I'm not going over there. You have to come all the way to the other side. And I'm like, so I'm supposed to put my life in jeopardy, come all the way to the other side for your lack of convenience because you don't want to drive over to pick me up at the location that I put inside the app. Are you still coming, sir? Because I cannot go outside. So then I told him, I'm going to text you because I feel like you're not understanding me and it's probably because my voice is screwy. Let's try that. I start to text him. I send him the message. He goes, okay, I'm coming. Cloop, your Uber ride has been canceled. And I was like, oh, that doesn't sound like he was coming. That's what she said, right? Uh, nah, <laughs> but, um, no, but the point is, <laughs> um, but yeah, like it was a very hectic day for me and I was just kind of like, I just need to get indoors so I can just keep my lungs safe and that just wasn't working. Um, but yeah, it was an interesting uh, day and it's just been a crazy little weird week for me, you know, gasping for air. Um, I kind of feel like a fish out of water. Uh, I, I'm, listen, work with me, okay? I'm, I'm on medication, kinda. Because um, <laughs> as much as I, I appreciate my new doctors, I kinda still don't trust them. Um, but, um, I basically was just going over, uh, you know, dealing with that and then dealing with the, the crazy Uber driver who just didn't want to pick me up. And here's the fun part. They set me up with another driver right afterwards and he pulled up in like two minutes and I, and I was like, oh my God. And I made sure to write his review because I'm like that. Um, I was like, yeah, I appreciate this driver for coming to pick me up even though the previous driver said that the street was closed. It's so funny how this one managed to get me considering my lungs are failing me. Submit five stars. And like, like I gave the guy five stars just because I was so happy. Um, just for the fact of picking me up in general. Um, cause I was just kind of like, dude, I'm telling you that I'm having a serious issue. And you're just like, I gotta go pick you all. Like, listen, I'm not your girlfriend, not your mom, not your sister, your cousin, your friend. I'm a paying customer telling you that I'm having an issue trying to get to you. And you decide you want to just keep like four blocks between us and go, well, I'm not going over there. Yeah, that sounds professional. So, um, now that I'm back up and running, um, so uh, now that everything's up and running, I can now do like my Y Live videos, which if you haven't noticed, there's a small little camera over here. I'm pretty sure because that's never on my screen. But yes, that's my cell phone. Along good with my beautiful watch. Um, <laughs> um, I signed up with this company that I told you guys about the last time when I was able to speak. <clears throat> And I'm actually doing live stream. So I have people watching me right now. Um, well, well, by the time you see this, people have watched me. Wait, people have watched me do the current video live right now, but in the past. That sounds like it. That sounds like good English. So um, I'm doing this app where I'm sort of sharing a little bit more about my personal life, things that I'm doing. And I was like really exciting this weekend considering how sick I was. I was live streaming me playing WoW. Like not like WoW, like WoW, like not that kind of WoW, like kind of like WoW as in World of Warcraft, level 28 running, shaman. Uh, <laughs> um, so um, apparently since I couldn't go outside, I decided to walk around the world of blood mist, um, which is completely sufficient. And say they say nerds don't go outside. Huh. Oh, I was everywhere. I flew around like four continents, somewhere. So, um, but yeah, so I actually did a lot of live streaming of that. So if you do check out my live streams, you will see me playing WoW a lot. I just kind of just connect it to the screen so you guys can just see me playing. Um, sometimes I may put myself in there so you can see me playing it, but I kind of feel like that's not really interesting because I'm just probably just going to do this. <laughs> Why doesn't this thing have auto run? What about this? Can I do that? Can I? Hi guys, thank you for the hearts. Um, that's for them. They can give me hearts, and you can too. Um, but, um it's me just kind of just sharing my WoW experience because uh, I haven't played a Blizzard game in a while. Um, the last time I played Blizzard, it was before MMORPGs was a thing. Um, this is like back when dial-up came up. So I was playing as um in Diablo as the sorceress with the cute little green top that she has. Just like, like that was my character. Um, and then I also played in Starcraft as Protoss because I am the queen of Protoss. Uh, so, um, uh, so yeah, um, and now I'm just sort of like live streaming that. So if you guys are interested in my nerdy stuff, 
and don't act like you're not because you're watching. So, uh, yeah, so that's what I've also been live streaming. And I'm actually really excited to actually do this gig um, just to sort of test it out to kind of like let them know what I think of their app, you know, considering me just doing my social media from Instagram and doing the sponsorships and now doing this. I'm actually just really, really excited about using their app. So make sure you check them out. Why live? That is the live streaming app. Let's live stream so I can check out the stuff that you're doing in your room. Not that kind of stuff. Not I'm not interested in that stuff, and it's weird. It's very weird. Put that away. Um, but um, but yeah, I just kind of want to give you guys a quick update on everything that's been happening, and um, let's uh, let's try to have a normal episode next next time because I'm usually usually normal. I could say that confidently. Yeah, I could. I'm usually normal. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you guys give me a like, comment. I know it sounds desperate, but I just really want you people to like me. Now, um, I just need to know what it is that I'm doing. I need feedback. I'm an actor. I need feedback. So in other words, I need you to be the director and yell at me and tell me if I'm doing it correctly or not. Also, in order to make sure that you click to subscribe, I don't know why I keep clapping so much. It's just something that I do. Um, in one of these directions... Uh, what I'm gonna do is that I'm actually gonna uh, they do this new thing on YouTube where you can do like end uh, end annotations or it's uh, it's end something. The point is it has my face on there. It has like a red background. And you see my headshot, um, which I worked really hard on, guys. So click on it. Um, <laughs> um, just subscribe and then make sure you do give me some commentary. You like it? Uh, let me know what you like about the video. If you don't like it, let me know what you don't like. Um, but yeah, and anyone who decides they want to give me hater comments, that's real nice. Move along. Um, but, um, but yeah, uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in, and I'll catch you guys next time. Whoop, whoop. Kind of letting you guys in a little bit more. I'm new to this, uh, like, uh, live vlog which is interesting because in my head I'm like I'm super boring but apparently people tune in like right now hi guys thank you for the hearts <laughs> I much appreciate it um, oh my there's quite a few people um, I, I am I'm up to 14 it's more than my YouTube views I probably shouldn't say that